23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. I'm Brenna Rose. Here's a look at what we're following. There's new mask guidelines from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention as the Delta variant spreads across the country. The CDC now recommending that all children in kindergarten through grade 12 wear masks when they head back to school this fall. That includes students who've been fully vaccinated. Teachers, staff and school visitors. Keep in mind these are guidelines, not mandates. President Biden acknowledging the inconvenience, but saying that children will be able to learn with classmates while being protected. The Board of Supervisors discussing a rise in local COVID-19 cases. The positivity rate has nearly tripled in the last week, according to County Public Health Director Bryn Kerrigan. A week ago, there were 34 people in the hospital with COVID. That jumped sharply from 50 to 80 in one day. The county is reporting six cases of the Delta variant. Meanwhile, students, faculty and staff in the Cal State University system will be required to get vaccinated against COVID-19. That has to happen by September 30th, according to CSU officials. You can seek religious or medical exemptions to the rule. It provides just another blanket of security because the vaccine isn't perfect, but it's probably the best thing we can do. And being unvaccinated just leaves so many more opportunities for it to rise up and hurt more people. If you're not vaccinated, there's also the option to attend classes online. Time now to check in with Chief Meteorologist Elena Rusk. Good morning. So as we take a look at that hot, dry weather we have in place for much of the heart of California, there's still enough moisture to leave a slight chance for some thunderstorms out there, mainly in the desert off to our southeast and along the Sierra Crest to our north for today and tomorrow. So you'll see those hundreds out there in the temperatures and the air quality. That's at 129 on the index today, unhealthy for sensitive groups. And with clouds building up in the mountains, it's not really a chance of rain here on the valley floor because we have those triple digits for several hours this afternoon. That means 99 in Isabella, 90 in Tatchby, 87 in Fraser Park, and some 100s down into the desert. Now, with that cloud cover buildup and a 10% chance of showers, you see a lot of it evaporating today and tomorrow. But then that humidity really increases Friday to Saturday as these temperatures go down and those rain chances go up. About a 30% chance to end the week. And that's your news and weather update.